We must act now to protect the Shea Corridor from high-density development. Did you know there are developers and city elected officials that have their eyes set on our suburban neighborhoods to transform it into the next urban center? There are three apartment projects that are on the fast track for approval before the end of the year. They are Gold Dust Apartments, Mercado Courtyards, and the 9400 Village. Two of these projects, Mercado Courtyards and 9400 Village, have a long history of neighborhood opposition. Listen to some of the comments from city council members from past meetings. Ever since this project was proposed months ago, the neighbors who would be most impacted by it have made it crystal clear that they are opposed to it. We have received a tremendous amount of email on this subject, and we understand your concerns. I've driven this area, and traffic is difficult, to say the least. I just want to say that we have, we've received a tidal wave of opposition to District 9400 Shea in the last 48 hours. The residents who live in this area are strongly against the project. I represent the citizens. They are the ones who elected me. Thank you. The other project, Gold Dust Apartments, is relatively new and would be taller and more dense than any of the other buildings in the area. Listen to what City Council candidate Barry Graham says. I think that the people along the Shea Corridor don't want those projects. I think those projects do not fit within this area. I think those projects do not match the character of this area. In the August primary, the voters sent a mandate to the City Council to stop the urbanization of Scottsdale, citing traffic and water as their main concerns. Does the city think residents will get tired of fighting and just give up? How many emails do we need to send? How many meetings do we need to attend? Developers are panicking to get their projects approved before their friendly councilwoman, Linda Milhaven, leaves in January. In fact, they will vote on the Gold Dust project three days before Thanksgiving. And the other two projects are on the agenda in December. They are hoping the residents will be too busy with holiday plans to pay attention. The residents along the Shea Corridor do not want these projects. They want to protect their suburban lifestyle. So you might ask, what can I do? First, you can contact us through our website at protectscottsdale.com. Then you can help by distributing flyers in your neighborhood, making phone calls, attend the city council meetings, and write emails to the city council. We are counting on you, the Shea Corridor residents, to stop the urbanization of our neighborhood.